Hello everybody, welcome back to my soap making studio and today I am making soap. Um, it's a new soap that I've never made before and sometimes we plan formulas, recipes, whatever. We plan our schedule and sometimes life happens and we make mistakes and then we need to uh, use this mistake and turn it into something good. So that's what I'm doing today. We're going to be making a soap that is loaded in shea butter. Uh, because we were actually prepping to make a custom soap order for a local business here. It's a hotel and they use our soaps for their guests. Um, and we accidentally measured the shea butter using the amounts of olive oil, <laughs> which is about 35% of the, the formula. And usually our shea is rarely above 10%. So I looked at and everything was melted down when I realized that we had made this mistake. So I looked at my numbers and I'm like, okay, let's make a fully loaded soap of shea butter. Um, of course, we use shea butter from Baraka Shea Butter, which is so lovely, amazing and good. And we usually keep it under 10% because sometimes it can accelerate trace. And it's also a costly um, butter. Uh, so we use it sparingly enough so that it adds value to the soap bar, but that we use other good oils and butters to complete our formulas. Also, since I'm including African uh, black soap crumbs and the combo butter, I'm really, really hoping this behaves well and I can incorporate them and make a design using them in this soap. And by the way, combo and the black uh, African soap crumbs are both from Baraka Shea Butter. I am an affiliate, so I will leave all of the links down below if you wish to buy these ingredients and try to incorporate them into soap. By the way, I'm a speaker for the HSCG and I'm going to be talking about this topic at this year's annual conference, which is in May. So by the time you see this video, it may be right before conference, during conference or just after a conference, <laughs> depending on the, my uploading schedule. Because I am a partner with Baraka Impact, because that's their official legal brand name, um, because they are so much more than shea butter now. They make shea butter, but they also produce cocoa butter, the black soap crumbs combo, lots of exotic oils and butters from um, Ghana, also as additives. So it's now Baraka Impact. Even I have to like remind myself. Uh, but I am a partner with Baraka Impact and I've asked them to create a soap bundle that I could recommend to my followers if they want to try making soap. So make sure to check that out on their website. I will leave the link to the bundle as soon as it becomes available. It will be right here in the description box. Now let's make soap. <laughs> so what's in this soap? Well, as I said, lots of shea butter. It's actually the main butter in this formula. It should have been olive oil which is why it's so high. We have 35% of shea butter, and then the rest will be olive oil, coconut oil, and palm oil from Palm Den Right, which is an ethically produced, sustainable, organic, deforestation free, and wildlife friendly palm oil. If you want to know more and learn about Palm Den Right, I will leave all of the links below in the description box where all the useful links for makers are in general. All right, let's bring the stock pot, the oils, and let's make some soap. Time to prepare the essential oil blend. I am using German chamomile, as well as sage essential oil. And both of these are from Plants Power, a Canadian supplier. Almost there, and oop, voila. Look at the color of the chamomile. Mm. Now let's measure flowers. <laughs> Um, these were homegrown in my garden, so we use them sparingly. Mm. 
theoretically, if everything goes as planned, we should be um, jiggy. <laughs> but you never know, especially with a new formula and especially with so much shea butter. So let's go get that lye water and see what happens. Living on the edge. Oh, a little spill here, just making sure nothing gets on my mat. So, I need a little bit more here. Oh. In here will go the combo, in here the black African soap crumbs, and in here the chamomile. Combo is the weirdest of all. It turns green, but it will result into a brown soap. Do not worry. This is how it should turn out in the end. All right, it's getting thick, so let's swirl it and lose no time. So. Pour everything in just to make sure that nothing is wasted and then once it thickens up a little more I'm gonna take a spoon and dive in now let's wiggle the table to see if this is thick enough to texture it's getting there lid on this mold. It's so cool to be able to see the whole soap when using these molds by Custom Craft Tools. This is the Goliath and it is 
the clear version. This is also a Goliath soap mold, but this one is not clear from the side. It still does have a clear top, which is kind of neat when you have a soap going through gel phase. And if this one does go through a nice heavy gel phase, I will come back and show you that. So here's a quick view of the soap that's gelling. You can see that this center part is darker than the the outer edge. See how this is more clear here and this is gelling from the inside out. It's easier to see on this mold as this one was made earlier and the gelling has now reached the edges, um, but you can still see it here that it's still, it's still expanding. So that's what happens to soap when it goes through saponification. Finally, time to unmold. The soap seems to have gelled all the way up to the edges. The color looks uniform. And with this clear mold, we can also see underneath. So I can't wait to unmold and cut this one and figure out what kind of design I created inside of each soap bar. All right, let's go. Let's bring this big slab closer to the cutting station. So this is a caterpillar. Uh, caterpillar? I have such a hard time pronouncing that word. My brain just doesn't want to. Um, it is a soap cutting station by Custom Craft Tools. And it's really nice because you can adjust the width of um, how you want to split your logs. And so I adjusted it to slice this into four logs or it'll give me four loaves. So let's go. So far, I really like it. The texture is so rustic. It's just like I wanted it now. Okay, let's cut the other way and see what happens. <laughs> and finally, revealing the final design. This is exciting. It's new. <laughs> we regularly make the same soaps over and over again here at the soap shop because due to Canadian regulation, every time we create a new soap formula, we need to uh, fill up a cosmetic notification form because because all of my soaps have slightly different formulas usually this means a new cosmetic notification form um, that's how it is that's the cosmetic law in Canada uh, but it's okay I'll, I'll, I'll go and fill up a form because this soap is very promising now let's cut The design is very nice. I did sort of swirl it to move things around inside and I really like how it came out. What do you think? Let me know in comments. Do you like the look of this soap? You can see the parts that have been colored with the combo butter and then you can kind of see the speckles that are left from the black African soap crumbs that I've included in there. And then there's also tiny, tiny speckles. I don't know if you can see them from the flowers that I grounded and included in the paste of the soap. 
So overall, I'm really, really happy about this. It looks very interesting. And also it's not too dark. Uh, depending on how much combo butter you put in soap, you can have different shades of brown. And this one is just very nice and gentle. Wow, I'm really happy. This was a beautiful mistake, right? Sometimes we make mistakes and sometimes they turn out good. <laughs> so I'm really happy about the outcome. Um, this soap turned out so nice. I hope it will be a hit. It's loaded and packed with shea butter and it has all of this goodness from Ghana. Um, many of my supplies are from Baraka Impact. Their website is barakasheabutter.com. So I will leave all the links below. I am an affiliate, so if you do use my links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you. And this helps to support my business and my YouTube channel. Um, so thank you so much for using any of my affiliate links. Now, there's two things that I need to do after making this soap. We need to let it cure. <laughs> it needs to harden up and dry, although it's pretty solid right now because it's made mostly with solid oils and butters. Uh, but yes, it still needs to harden up. So that will take between three to four weeks uh, because I did do a 25% water discount on this batch. It was really, really hard when I cut it. And then the other thing I need is find a name. I don't know how to call it. Uh, it has to talk about shea. I mean, it's 35%. Uh, it has to be rustic and kind of be familiar with the ingredients in there. So I'd love to know your suggestions. Um, it also needs to be a name that can be translated in French and English because my business is located in a French um, Canadian area. We're in Quebec and all my labels need to be bilinguals and my primary names for my products are in French and then I translate them to English. But give me your ideas even if, if they're, or they're only in English and they're, if they're translatable, um, I will consider and if I do get my name from a user, you will get a bar. So please give me some ideas. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this soap and how you think I should call it. And on that note, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for following along. And it's always nice to experiment with soap. I encourage you to do so. Make sure to check out the Baraka Impact website for the soap bundle if you want to try your hand. All you'll need um, with the soap bundle is if you like the bundle includes palm kernel, coconut oil, shea and cocoa. So you'll need to buy olive oil at the grocery store. You'll need to source some lye to make your soap. And then if you want to add any scents, uh, then you can add some as well to your soap, but you don't really need to. You can leave it plain and unscented, which makes me think this soap smells so good. As I mentioned, uh, when I was making it, it's a blend of sage and chamomile. And it's very gentle, very subtle, but you can definitely smell it. So if you like a mellow scented soap, I would highly recommend uh, you try it. It's going to be very gentle, very mild, very nourishing. So yes. Uh, but yeah, if you want to try and make soap, uh, stay tuned because my online class is going to release soon. And then the soap bundles from Baraka Impact as well. And then I will also include some suppliers where you can find the rest of the supplies with the course. So make sure that you don't miss that if you've never made soap and you want to make some at home for your family or for your friends. Um, that will be a great little class. So thank you so much and see you soon.